Hi guys, Kelly here. How's it going? Hey, I'm gonna have to put my sunglasses back on. I worked on a moldy car this week and I apparently am really allergic to mold now, so I'm having an issue with my eyes watering. But anyways, um, I wanted to get on and make a video real quick because I've been getting a lot of the same questions the last few days in regards to this class that I've designed. I was gonna wait and teach it when my training center got completed, but I feel like there's a need for it now, especially with so many people leaving their industry and wanting to start their own businesses, not really knowing how to go about starting their own business and things that you need to know even if you're already in business, refresher type things or things that maybe you just didn't know about. So a lot of this stems from you know my years in business school. I have multiple business degrees and also from the 12 years that I was a lender. So when I did lending, I specialized in all different types of loans and also credit counseling. So I worked with a lot of people on building their credit, repairing their credit, and helping them understand their credit in general. So that's something I want to talk about during this class a lot is about your credit and how important it is and things you can do to keep your credit strong. I want to talk about budgets. I think that's something that's really important that gets overlooked and I want to focus a lot on income and expenses and profit and loss statements. You really need to be keeping track of what's coming in every month and what's going out. It's super, super important and I think that that's where a lot of small businesses fail is they're not keeping track of how much money's coming in and how much money's going out and that's crucial because if you're not keeping track of that, you're going to end up in a real situation quicker than what you would think. So we're going to talk a lot about very basic income and expense charts and graphs and profit and loss statements. I'm also going to talk about, i got to grab my notes here, um, I'm going to talk a lot about a business plan, setting goals, assessing your finances, talking about determining the right legal structure for your business. I think that's something that's important, whether you're going to set your business up as an LLC, sole proprietor, partnership, or go into a corporation. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I'm going to always urge you to get a good licensed CPA because they're always going to be up on all the latest tax laws and you know, um, structure and different things like that. And that brings me to the next thing, taxes. Make sure you're paying your taxes. That can be super costly and detrimental um, in itself, just not paying your taxes, whether it be sales tax, income tax, um, federal taxes, you know, unemployment if you have employees, you know, all these different things. So I'm gonna talk about getting a DBA, basic, but a lot of people might not know how to do that. EIN numbers, um, what is an EIN? How do I obtain one? Why do I need one? I'm going to talk a lot about insurance, super important, find the right insurance agent, make sure your business is fully covered. It absolutely blows my mind how many business owners, small business owners do not have insurance or don't have the right types of insurance, super important to keep up on that. And talk about getting certifications regardless of you know what type of business you have or what industry you're in I think that continuing your education is always really really important stay ahead of the learning curve and expand your knowledge and you know grow yourself and build yourself I think it's really really important so that's just the, the few of the things that we're going to touch base on if you think of anything else that you'd really like to know about message me I'd be happy to include it and also if you're if this sounds so, like something you'd be interested in shoot me a message to let me know what you think I can add you to the list and as soon as we get this stuff available for downloading in some way shape or form like I said the class was designed to be an in-person type of a class so I'm trying to get all the information transferred over to um, be easily downloaded whether that be like something on demand or through zoom or I'm not really entirely sure if you have more technologically advanced skills than I do then please let me know because I could use some help with that or if you can point me in the right direction um, I want to get all this stuff available um, online so it'll be easy to access okay so thank you so much I appreciate all the input that I've gotten so far and all the interest in this and I hope that I could help somebody that's all I want to do is I want you to be successful and if some of the knowledge that I've acquired over the 12 years of myself being in business or my business degrees or the past knowledge that I have in finance and in lending and credit counseling and credit repair I would love to share that with you so message me let me know what you what you think and if you're interested in it i'll add you to the list so as soon as i have the information available for you to download you'll have access to that okay all right thanks a lot guys have a great day